So the purpose of this video is to show you how to record without worrying about tempo, but still find that tempo later. We can create a tempo map if we want, but the main thing I want to show you is how to put something down without worrying about a click track. We can just play what we feel and find that tempo later. In the last video, I showed you how to do it with audio. In this video, we're going to do it with MIDI. So a project set up here, and I've already created a MIDI track that I want to play my part with. So let's start off by just recording our part, and again, with no metronome turned on, without a tempo. Just playing it how we feel it. That's good enough for this. We'll take it out of record. Then we're going to move this MIDI item to be on the grid. Let's turn the grid and snapping on, zoom in. Let's start it right on bar two. Hold on the shift key to disable snapping. Now it starts up bar two. And right over here should be bar three. So let's first create a tempo marker. We'll put our cursor on bar two. Hit Shift C. And that opens up this dialog where we could add a tempo marker. But to do this quicker, we could bypass this dialog as we don't need to enter a tempo each time. We just need to create the markers. So we'll go to Actions, Show Action Lists, go to Find Shortcut, Shift C, and that shows us this action. We could use this action instead, which does the same thing without opening up the dialog. So we'll make this Shift C. And now if we hit Shift C, it adds a tempo marker right there. Let's add another one on bar three. And we're going to move it so it lines up right here on these notes. Now to stretch time as we do this, we need to hold down a modifier. Control on the PC, Command on the Mac. But if we do it right now and stretch it, notice the MIDI stretches as well. We don't want to do that. We just want the bar lines to move, but not the MIDI or the notes. So we need to do two different things. First, we'll go to File, Project Settings, and change the time base for our items from beats, position, length, and rate to be time. So we move those tempo markers, we won't readjust the item, which does work for audio, but for MIDI, it's still going to stretch if we do this. We also have to do one other thing. Right click the item, go to Source Properties, and choose Ignore Project Tempo. We recorded this at 120, so it'll keep this tempo for now. So now, if I move this marker while holding down the modifier, it moves our grid but without changing our notes. So we just need to create a bunch of tempo markers and put them on the notes for the top of each bar, like this. And to hear it better, let's turn on the metronome or the click track. But if we start it from the beginning, it starts at 120 beats per minute. We don't want that. We should at least start at this tempo. So the counting is correct. So I'll copy this and paste it here, which moves this item. We can move this back, hold the shift key, to be perfectly in time. So our count off is the same tempo as the music. So we're good up to bar three. So we'll just add a bunch of tempo markers to this. One every bar. Click here, Shift C, and just do this every bar. And now just line them up the same way. Starting with this one, hold the modifier, we don't need to be perfect with this, just close enough to the beginning of each note for each measure. That looks pretty good right there. Let's hear it back from the beginning.
it looks and sounds pretty good, right on the tempo. Now we can see the tempo that we played. It's about 130 over here, the same over here, a bit slower over here, 130, a little faster over here, and a little slower over here. So we could average it out to about 130 or any tempo you want. But I did play it around 130. So now we could delete all these tempo markers, go to view, tempo envelope, here are all the tempo changes we made, choose one, select all, and delete it, and that clears them all. Put a tempo marker at the beginning, just type in the tempo you want to use, let's use 130, and now we could hide this, hide the master track, and either replay this at the right tempo, or just quantize this to this tempo. We could double click it, here's the notes we just played, go to quantize, a grid is set up to quarter notes, we'll quantize all notes, and just the position. Hit OK. It puts it all on the grid, which is set at 130 beats per minute. So it should sound perfect. It does. Perfect at the tempo we chose. 130 beats per minute. And again, you can replay it if you want, but now we have the tempo based on the performance or how we feel this song. Instead of having to find the click track while we play, we could find it after we play. So that's pretty much it. That's free tempo recording in beat. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go. Mm -hmm.